Welcome to my channel Basic Electrical Learning and today we are going to learn about full load current calculation of three phase AC generator. So as we know that the generator or three phase or a single phase having a different type of loads on it. So the generator can control the sum amount of load. So how much current can be drawn from this generator we will learn about today. And today our topic is three phase AC generator. Let's start the topic. Three phase generator full load current calculation. That's a question. What is the maximum safe current which can be collected from three phase AC generator? So there is a question. As you know that the example we have that is 250 kVA generator having the voltage of 450 three phase AC voltage and we have to find out the full load current so the power of all AC sources is in kVA kilovolt ampere and what is the difference between kVA and kilowatt you can go on the top of the link and in that video you can find out the detailed description about the difference between kVA and kilowatt I'll also provide the link in the description you can go to the description and find out the video link of kVA versus kilowatt now come to the topic that how we can calculate the maximum current can be drawn from the three phase generator so again there is a question if we have a 250 kVA three phase AC generator so how much current can be drawn from this generator safely and efficiently so to find out the full load current we have the formula here kVA is equal to VA divided by 1000 and this formula is for single phase AC generator and uh, how to calculate the maximum current for a single phase AC generator there is another link on the description go to that link and find out that how we can calculate the maximum current from single phase AC generator so now our topic is three phase AC generator now the formula will be rearranged with the increment of under root 3 so the formula will become kVA is equal to under root 3 for three phase multiplied by VA voltage and current divided by 1000 and that is the formula for three phase AC generator so that is the ampere or the current the maximum current which we are going to find out so that is our task to find out the A that is the current now we will rearrange the formula for the current calculation Let's see all the value will be rearranged in this equation. You can see now the formula is become that A is equal to kVA multiplied by thousand under root three multiplied by voltage. So here the formula for ampere A is equal to thousand multiplied by kVA divided by under root three. And multiply by voltage so as we have the value that as we know that the value of under root 3 is 1.732 so we will place the value of under root 3 is 1.732 in our formula and the value of kVA and V we also have in our question so in the given data we have the kVA is 250, 250 kVA has been placed and the voltage is 415 three phase AC voltage here is 415 AC voltage. Now we will calculate the current with the help of calculator. You can use the calculator to find out the exact value. Now by multiplication the value we will find the result that 
divided by 718.78. By further division, we will find the value that is 347.8 ampere. So that is our maximum current which we can draw from the three phase AC generator. So it is a maximum current. So the maximum current is 347.8 ampere. It is a maximum current that can be taken from the three phase AC generator having the voltage of 450. There is a different type of load is applied on the generator and this load may be a resistive load, the load may be the inductive or sometimes the load may be the capacitive. So all type of load is applied on AC generator and there is involvement of power factor when we discuss about the AC voltage. So the power factor of the resistor or purely resistive is 1 while the power factor for the inductor and capacitor is 0 and what is power factor there is another link on the top you can go and click to find out what is power factor I already explained detailed explanation about the power factor now when the two type of load inductive and resistive is applied on AC generator the power factor will not be 1 or not be the 0 the power factor will be about 0 0.8 to 0 0.95 so that is the power factor so remember we will include this power factor of our full load current calculation for the safety purpose we never draw the full current from any machine so the full current is 347 but we will find out the 80% of the full current due to the power factor. The power factor is 0.8 and 0.8 is about 80%. So we will take 80% of our full load current for safety. Now the 80% of our full load current will be, we will calculate it, 347.8 multiplied by 80 divided by 100. Or simply you can uh, multiply the value of 347.8 multiply by 0 0.8 that is the power factor so the 80% current will be 278.24 ampere so that is our safe current so 278.24 ampere is the safe current so if you will draw 278 ampere current from 250 kV three phase AC generator your generator will work properly and efficiently but if you will draw more than 278 ampere current or 300 ampere current then your generator will be burned out or will not work efficiently so there is a question that if we have 250 kV three phase AC generator and having a voltage of 415, the maximum current is 347.8 ampere. That is a full load current. But always we will take the 80% of the current for safe operation, and that current is 278.24 ampere. So here is the formula for three phase. AC generator current calculation so you can calculate any type of load or voltage from this formula so in our question we have found the answer of 278.24 the safe current you can put the value of your own generator of different voltage and power and you can calculate the maximum current thank you Please.